Hello everybody, I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Player Spider-1 and welcome you back to Let's Play Fallout and that is Snake Logan. Hello guys. Last we left off, we found out that Bob's Iguana bits aren't made of Iguana. And we also did a lot of shopping and today we are going to try and take a uh, cane down and Dickard. So yeah, evil doers are going down. But first, we're gonna go back to the old... Uh, section of the hub which is over here so let us go into the warehouse district it's pretty much a warehouse district but also it's a uh, it's a place where squatters like these guys we got the, the skags what is this it's much better than my old place I hope so I'm thirsty well I'm sorry to hear that I hear Raskar be skilled again last night. Good for you, Mr. Peasant. So, you see that there's a uh, stairwell? Uh, stairwell. Oh, staircase, stairwell, whichever we want to call it. Over here. So, we're gonna go down to the staircase, but the thing is, it's not really safe. You'll see why. What, is there gonna something happen? Something really bad might happen here. Like what? Like dog meat is gonna die. Really? Please don't tell me he's gonna die. It might happen. You gotta be really careful about this place. So let's do traps on the door. That's the wall. I meant the door. Here. I don't see anything. Just keep trying. Okay. Are you sure there's even a trap on the door? I'm pretty sure. I don't see anything. Stop checking the wall. I'm sorry, it's you just pointing at the wrong spot. I know, it's hard to hit the door here. Still nothing. Okay, I guess there's no... I guess there's nothing there then. Let's take our lockpicks. How about I just open the door? Well, it says the door is locked. Oh, okay. So let's unlock it then. There, 25 experience points. See? There wasn't any trap. Well, I did say that you have to be careful around here. Why? Because there are traps around here. What kind of traps? Mines. Uh, dog meat. What are you doing? Dog meat is being dog meat. He's always stupid. So is there a way for me to spot these? No. See? Dog meat was hit for 23 points. Yup. Not doing too well. Nope. How about I just go over here and heal him? Okay, okay. You heal him, we'll wait. So we'll be right back, I guess. Well, I gotta make sure that he's gonna stay safe. Well, I guess that's true. So back in a bit. Okay, with all that healing spree done. Yay, he's fine. He's fine. Dog meat is okay. Yeah, he is fine, so let's try and get through this. I think you need to go on the uh, left wall here. Just gotta be careful, right? Just gotta be careful. What about dog meat? He is fine. What about this door? It looks locked. It is. So we gotta go open it again. Well, you don't really need black picks. You're, you're damn good. See? Okay, how about the other room? That's as dangerous as the other. Let's just open the door first before we try to walk in. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then we just keep on walking on the wall. Well, he was hit for seven points, so he's good. Nothing too serious, at least. Yup. So let's go all the way back down. Then open the last door. We locked it. That is all done, and as you can see, there's people here. Well, what the time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Usually these guys are more... Uh, active at night, but you'll see. So what do I do? Go in and talk. Okay, no guns. Gotta keep on that in mind. No guns here. So we got Cleo, we got Smitty, and we got Jasmine, and we got this guy, Luxley. Leader of the Thieves' Guild. What do you want? Uh, tell me about the circle. 
If you're lucky, you'll consider yourself one of us by the end of the day. At home, part of the furniture, you know. Tell me about Decker. We don't discuss Mr. Dick any polite company. Well, hi. Hi yourself. Jeez, rude people. How about this guy? We don't talk to no outsiders. Well, he seems smart. So let's go talk to the uh, leader here, Luxley. He's a, a very charming fellow, as you will see. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. Thanks. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. I'm Snake Logan. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, yours actually. As well. For now. Yeah, yours Let's as well. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of. Sure. Sorry. What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? Love that. <laughs> I love it when he goes, so bloody, bloody, bloody hell. <laughs> One of my favorite lines in the game, seriously. I want to join the circle. Oh, how nice. A joiner. Well, you've worked hard enough for a look-see. But if you really want to join, then you'll have to take the second test. And what's that? And also, second test? The first test was we're getting in here. Well, oh, that was easy. So, what's that? Quite simple, really. You prove yourself as a thief. Succeed, and the world is yours. If not, then you'll never see us again. Except if you come looking. And if you don't understand, that last bit is a threat. Well, I kind of got it, yeah. So, what's the test? It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? I'm ready. That's the spirit, mate. Just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this chamber. She'll give you details, a map, and a few little goodies to help you on your way. Good to know. But remember, if you even think about ratting us out to the cops, we'll be a memory before they arrive. Okay. But enough gloom. Cheerio, good luck, and ta-ta. Um, sure, yep. Uh, bye. He speaks weird. He speaks uh, British. That's why. So we gained 900 experience points for joining the uh, Thieves Guild and passing their first test. Well, we haven't really joined yet, but we passed the first test, so you get 900 experience points for that. Still not talking to us, huh? Okay. So we talk to Jasmine here. Welcome to the Circle of Thieves. I'm Jasmine. I'm here to help you make your infiltration to the Darren Hightower Estate as painless as possible. Hightower's Estate is located in the Heights. It has a minimum of two guards on duty at all times. The necklace is probably in a strong box, which often have some miter traps, so be careful. Here are some lockpicks and a couple of flares to make your job a little easier. And a bottle of Nuka-Cola. Don't try to kill Mr. Hightower, he's one of our favorite people. You got all that? What do you mean by favorite? Well, he's been our benefactor on many occasions. If you kill him, someone smarter may take his place. We wouldn't like that. Okay, can I ask you a few more questions? Hi again, we got the necklace. You'll have to give it to Mr. Lockton before you get your reward. Okay, so... Off I go to steal a necklace. Yep. That's our job. Steal the necklace from Darren Hightower. And Dogmeat just got past the mines, which is good. He didn't blow himself up. So... We got ourselves some more lock picks. As you can see, now we got three. Two flares and a Nuka Cola. Useless piece of junks, the other two. Seriously. Nobody uses flares and nobody drinks Nuka Cola. Well, you can drink Nuka Cola, but it only heals like one hit point and it may cause you addictiveness. Seriously, this stuff can be addictive? Well, yeah. It is very high sugar. It's got a really high sugar content in it, so yeah, it can be addictive. Although sugar really doesn't do any kind of that kind of stuff in real life, but then, you know, still. So what's in here? What's gonna do for you? Who are you? The name's Vance. And that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? Uh, good to meet you, Vance. What do you have to sell? You seem okay. Here's what I got. So Vance is the local drug lord here. 
Jacob, the other guy on the left, in the building to the left, he's the guy who sells all the guns. This guy sells all the drugs. And boy howdy does he have all the drugs. He got Psycho, Mentads, Buff Out, Antidote, First Aid Kits, a lot of Radaways that we're gonna need. Some uh, Radixes, a few stim Super Stim Packs, and a few Stim Packs as well. Okay. Most of all, I just want to get rid of these, because I really, 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 really don't need them. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna sell that too, because you don't really need that many... Yeah, I'll just keep it. You really don't need that many uh, lockpicks. But... Why not? He doesn't have any money? Really? No caps? Well, aren't you a jib? Wow. Only one. Thanks. What a great trade. I lose one bottle cap. Because I wanted just one... Stimpack. That felt stupid. At least he sells the steam packs uh, very cheap. How much is your barter skill? Seriously. Uh, 35. 35% that you he still sells them that cheap. Huh. Snake, you're awesome. Hey, thanks. I almost thought about myself pretty, pretty good. Yeah, just don't take think too highly of yourself. Of course not. I'm not gonna let it go to my head. Good man. So... We need to go to the High Tower Estate, but the best uh, time to go to the High Tower Estate is, of course, at night. And as you can see, it's very bright because it's only 10 a.m. The High Tower Estate is to the left of here. I think it was right there. You can go there at any time you want, but he will not see you at any moment, any time of the day. Because he's a, uh, he's a sort of a businessman. Not a very bright one, but he's rich. He's wealthy. Woohoo! So, as you can see, there's guards here right away. What do you want? Uh, excuse me, can I ask you a few questions? Make it quick. I'm not supposed to be talking on the jab. Uh, where am I? Even though I know you shouldn't probably be here, this is the heights. Mr. Hightower lives here, and he only sees people on appointment. Can I set up an appointment with Mr. Hightower? No. Okay. So, yeah. If you go to the daylight, it, they said that there's, like, two guards on duty at the... At the... At all... Once... Uh, the, there are only two guards on duty at all time. There we go. But that is only during night. As you saw, at daylight, there's like five or six. So your best bet to go and do this thieving job is at night. So we're gonna stay here. And we're gonna rest until evening. And then, add some four hours to it. It's 10 p.m. So we pretty much stood in one place for 12 hours. My feet are killing me. Can I sit down in this game? Yeah. No, damn it. There's no sitting in this game. You only stand around all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna love being in this game. Well, you've been in this game for a long time already, so why you can't play now? Because it was the perfect time for it. Okay. It doesn't matter if you have followers with you. Oh. After some that nobody is allowed in this area. The other guards won't even give you a warning. If they catch you, they'll attack. You better be get, get back downtown when your while your head is still attached to your neck. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be on my way. Yeah, you tell that guard that you'll be on your way. But you're really not. So we just hide out here. Behind this place. The two guards there. There's one guard over there. The front door is open for some reason. Although I think this is not the uh, correct place to go to. Yeah, this is the guard house. Okay. So one of the... Um, there will always be one guard patrolling the area. So you gotta be careful about that. And this is the high tower estate right here. So this is the place that we need to go into. Gonna be easy. 
Don't worry, I know how to sneak. Yeah, with your 33% knee sneaking skill. Shh, shut up. I'm better than that. Well, you know how well you sneak in Biomeda. Shh, shut up. I'm sorry, why do I need to whisper? Oh yeah, we don't need to whisper. Yeah. But it goes with the snicker snicker. Okay, he moved, so let's move. So like I was saying, it doesn't really matter if you have any companions with you, because... Uh, it's you that the uh, enemies will notice, if they will notice you. So it doesn't really matter if there are any companions along side with you. So as you saw, that guy is patrolling between the street and the door. So we're gonna wait until he comes back to the door, and then we're gonna go to the door ourselves. And that was Hightower and his wife. Having a little, little snuggly time there together, doing whatever. We do not really care what they were doing. So we're gonna wait. You shouldn't be doing this uh, quest if you do not have really good uh, lock picking skill. I think the lock picking skill at minimum should be at least 60. If you try to go in here, the door itself is pretty easy, but the lock box, the strong box, lock box, whatever is it that is inside that has the necklace, that is pretty difficult to open. So you really need high lock picking skills for this one. But at least Snake has humongous skills of lock picking. And also, try not to do a mistake like that, what I did. As in, run. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm close to the door. Sneak over here. That was close. He could have spotted us. But hey, I told you. Sneaky, sneaky. Yep. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's wait for him to go a bit away because he might still hear the footsteps. So let's go this way. This is the place that we need to go to. They did say that there might be some traps around here, so you gotta be have a pretty good uh, trap skill, which we don't. Ah, don't worry, I can do this. I trust myself. Yeah, of course you do. Nothing here. Just gonna make sure that there's nothing here. Well, with your skill, it might take several hundred times to even try and spot a trap. Okay, there was nothing there, so it's it on the tron on the uh, strong box then. Up, 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 up! Don't try to open it. Just search for traps. Okay, I found it. What do I do now? Pray. <laughs> Great. Failed. 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 It's gonna be a compilation of me just saying fail. <laughs> Let's hope that you can do it. Because if you flub, it's gonna explode. Oh, come on. It, it, successfully disarmed. Yes. Awesome. So let's... Uh... Yeah, I know it's locked. How about we... It's, it's not doing anything. No, oh, that's weird. Well, that, that I didn't even need the lockpicks. Apparently, the lockpicks don't even work. Oh, what a wonderful program! There's the necklace. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Oh, come on, it is beautiful. So just uh, close it. You can also use the lockpick skill to lock things. At least in the second game, you can do that, but not in this one. Oh, he's there. Come on, man, move! Hey, actually obeyed. Okay, let's just open, open the door. Get on the floor. No. Now we just sneak away. Sneaky, 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 like. Okay. 
Good. We did it! As you, as you can see, it's not the hardest quest to do, but it can be difficult if you just don't pay attention. You gotta pay attention to your surroundings when you're a thief. That's the most important aspect of being a thief. You gotta keep your eye on your surroundings. Usually I don't spend any... Uh, I haven't made any sneaking type of characters before, but it's sometimes try to, you know, mix things a little bit. Try something new. So, go for a sneaky type. I'm... I'm... I support your decision if you decide to make a sneaking character. Sneaking is good. You will eventually get the silent running perk, which means that you can run while sneaking. And also, you might get... You will get the assassin skills, which makes you able to backstab people. Pretty much instant kill them. And also, you will have a very good melee weapon skills and everything like that. So being a stealthy assassin type, you need melee weapons or unarmed. Each, either skill will do. Uh. Because, uh, well, you're a sneaky type, you really don't use guns then. So not really my style. Not really, but hey, it worked. Yeah, I'm happy about that. So let's go back to Luxley. He's supposed to be Robin of Loxley. Yeah, it's a reference to Robin of Loxley. Because, hey, his name is Loxley, he's a Thieves Guild. Yeah, it's a whole reference to Robin Hood. Sorry about that little hiccup there. There was a disturbance in the house, but it's all right now, so let's get back to giving the necklace to Luxley. Oh, how nice to see you again. Do you have a little something for me? As a matter of fact, I do. Here's the necklace. <laughs> well done! Congratulations! You're now a member of the world-famous Thieves Circle. Let's get Jasmine over here and throw a topper, shall we? Uh, sure, but what is a topper? He means drink. Oh, oh, okay. So we get 500 experience points. Yay for experience. And 3,000 bucks? 3,000. By the way, here's a little something extra to help you out in your future felonist forays. Just my hands, you electronic lockpicks. Yes. Electronic lockpicks are not easy to come by. So this is the best way of getting yourself some early electronic lockpicks. It wants electronics micro manipulator finger stuff. Electronic lockpick finger stuff. Nice. For defeating electronic locks and security devices. Yes. Because uh, later on there will be electronic locks that cannot be opened with the lockpicks or with your regular lockpick skill. So you need the electronic lockpicks for them. And I'm glad that we have those now. Now if you wonder, what is the benefit of actually doing all this? Except for getting the electronic lockpicks and a lot of coin. And also lots of experience points. That's pretty much it. There's no second quest from Loxley or anything. It looks too busy to talk. Yeah. There really isn't anything else here to do. You just join the uh, Thieves Guild and that's it. No benefits or anything like that. By yourself, go blow smoke in somewhere else. He's still rude, even if you're uh, a partner to the uh, guild here. At least I don't think there is anything to do around here. Seriously, no items in these cupboards? Nothing? Okay. So she says hello. So tell me about Loxley. A great leader. He's doing everything to screw over the right people and keep the hub together. For a small fee, of course. Tell me about the circle. It's both a job and an adventure. Helping the poor, risking your life, meeting new and interesting blokes. That's us, the good guys. Blokes? Is she supposed to be British? No. Huh? Tell me about Decker. I had a friend who worked for him once. When the assignment went bad, he ran back to Decker for reinforcements. Decker called him a fool. And he had him lobotomized as an example to the others. We don't like Decker very much around here. And yet you just said that Decker... Well, Loxley is the one who's making things good. But yeah, Decker is a bad guy. 
lobotomize the guy to show an example, not to mess with him. Yeah. Decker is going to be a pain to take care of. Trust me. Anyway. Now we got that done. Next time we're gonna go actually do that Decker thing. Instead of, you know, doing this thief skill. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I remembered that. So, it was still fun. It was still fun. Yeah, it was maybe fun for you. Well, don't complain. You did it very easily. You don't really need that high of a trap skill. You're lucky that you didn't get yourself blown up. I guess so. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Bye. See you later. Have a nice day.